coming in the brand new El Patio, which is an outdoor learning environment for the students of Roy Clark Elementary. Our students and families that we serve here um, are 62% Hispanic and we wanted to make sure that this space really speaks to them and welcomes them into our school and the learning experiences here at Clark. A lot of our students come from three different apartments and they don't have backyard spaces and this is their backyard space. This is a place that they can come and enjoy and call their own. I haven't been able to really use this space because it had different terrain, rocks, you know, weeds, grass, didn't really have a good flow or a layout and really it hadn't been dreamed up to the possibilities that it has now and that's simply because of the work of our community partners. And it's been a pure joy and honor for us to come in and to help make this dream that this school has had for many, many years a reality. We knew that we could get a team together of nearly 20 guys to come and help be the laborers to make this dream a reality and we had a blast doing it and it's such a beautiful day to see it and celebrate the completion of it and now for the kids and their families to be able to use it. Well, when you can take the learning outside, you definitely increase the possibility of our students remembering the content, engaging in the learning, because it's enjoyable for them to take learning to a different place than what they're used to seeing in their classroom and really be able to engage in the work. I think it is encouraging and engaging for our staff as well. Um, to really come and take the time with their students outside of what is typical and being able to invest in the learning that way. We're just really grateful that the school would even include us in something like this. I think that's the beauty of Tulsa is that there's so many like-minded individuals that if we kind of just think outside of the box or out of our day-to-day, -day, what could be possible when we kind of connect with other people that are doing just an amazing job within the community. We just want to have a big thank you to all the uh, partners and staff and former staff and current faculty and kids, everyone that, that helped out with this project. Yes, thank you so much.